So there's always um, there's always this kind of you know this uh, uh, a general kind of theme of my channel is you know supporting new and alternatives to for example YouTube or alternatives to Twitter or alternatives to whatever social media that you like because most of them don't work very well. One of the biggest complaints about YouTube in particular that creators have is that our viewers very the people who have raised their hand and said, "Hey, I want to see videos from this person," almost never see them. Uh, the average, like well-known percentage of viewership to subscribers is about ten percent. Once you're uh, once you're like a mature channel, so if you have one point five million subscribers, and you regularly get about one hundred fifty thousand views, that's not uncommon. Um, and uh, as users. Also saying, you know, why is all this crap on my homepage? Obviously, another complaint is why are they arbitrarily banning people? Why is YouTube suspending banning people? Why is Twitter I'm, or Twitch? Why are they banning people? Well, it starts from a the, the problem is a fundamental uh, a fundamental issue is that when your viewers want to watch you, for example, they're not watching you. They're going to YouTube and you're, they're subscribing to YouTube and hoping that YouTube shows people the videos. Um, and we know, you know, as creators, they generally don't do that. YouTube has a monopoly, a virtual monopoly on video content creation. You know, Rumble's growing, Odyssey's out there. There are other alternative sites, but Rumble or YouTube still has probably 95% of the video views. For streaming, like Twitch, they still have probably 90% or more of all available streamers. Well, then what happens when you get banned? When Twitch decides they ban you? Or as a creator, for example, when you want to support new tech, how do people find you? I very you know, publicly talked about I'm doing a live show on Rumble every day from noon to 2 o'clock Central Standard Time. I would absolutely love for people to come and watch that show, okay? Even if they don't want to leave YouTube and they want to watch my standalone videos on YouTube, I don't care. This is the problem is that people don't switch over. You know, like they, m most people don't want to install another app. Most people don't want to, you know, deal with this BS. I understand that completely. By the way, I hope that you'll start joining me at noon on my Rumble channel. You can get the Rumble app or you can just go to my Rumble page and watch that live. But the monopoly and the arbitrary bannings of these platforms like YouTube and Twitch has been something that has been a major problem. And um, right to repair juggernaut, Louis, Ro Louis Rossman has put together with other people, I assume, an app that is uh, extremely important its functionality. Now, as a content creator who's, you know, relies on ad revenue, it's always hard to like promote stuff that, for example, blocks ads. Um, you're literally promoting something that takes money out of your pocket. It sucks, right? But the more important thing that this app does is it creates an ecosystem where, uh, where content creators, you can actually subscribe to them. Like you can subscribe to them. You can subscribe to me in particular, and you can see my videos. You want to see my videos on Odyssey. You want to see my videos on, um, you know, wherever various platforms you can do that application would be with the stock app. So one thing you may notice when I decide to click on a video here is that it starts to play immediately, or at least as immediately as spectrum internet will allow when you live my watch history is and doesn't really get to track me in the way that they would if I logged in. The choice there is in your hands. It's up to you. When you're using this application, you are not just searching one platform, you are searching every one of the platforms that you clicked in a staggered way. So if I wanted to search for motherboard repair over here, I can search for motherboard repair and I can see results from Twitch, YouTube, Odyssey, Twitch, YouTube, Odyssey, all the different platforms that I have here. So I no longer... This, he comes out with this app that I think is actually pretty cool. Um, you can verify yourself as a creator on it and um, people can actually follow. 
Now, this isn't like one of those things where it's like Patreon or whatever, where you pay people. It's not like a way for creators to make money. It's a way, though, for people to stay out of, you know, the on, on, out of the watchful eye and, and back up content, by the way. So if, if you get banned off YouTube, you know, your viewers can still find you much easier. You know, they don't want to join Rumble or they're not on Rumble, but they, but they want to watch the quarterings videos. They can still find me because this app will actually aggregate because everything. Here at food. You can see it as like, you can look, search Patreon, Rumble, Kick, Twitch, Odyssey, YouTube, um, you know, all this kind of stuff all at once. I really think that this is a smart app. Um, and I think that it's really important in the age of people getting banned and suspended from platforms. It's like, uh, you know, again, it sucks because in the short term, creators will um, lose ad revenue, but it does ensure that your viewers that actually want to can find your content and then they can, you know, support you directly. For example, I tell people like, oh, there's this app, right? And again, I'm not getting paid to promote this. In fact, I'm losing money to promote this. But I do think I really like the idea and you have to stand by your principles. And the principle is like, I really want to, uh, you know, be able to have my viewers find my videos. This app looks like, I'm gonna download it today, I'm gonna try it. Um, you know, you have one universal feed. You can view YouTube alongside paid content like Patreon or even platforms like Twitch, Rumble, Odyssey, things like that. Log into your platforms and receive the same recommendations you would get on their website. And you can import subscriptions and playlists from any supported platform. It also has background play, offline playback, live streams, and chat. This is a pretty interesting development. Um, I think it's pretty smart. And you can cast. You can also do... Um, this stuff he talks about longer term when people this part to consumers as well as content creators over the content that they produce again we would love to have a system once harbor is fully developed for you to simply just click a button and take that content creator's content and export it to a decentralized database somewhere where if that, that person's all their videos get deleted from youtube odyssey rumble and everything else they're still available for everybody to be able to watch that's something that is on our roadmap if that content creator is deleted from odyssey youtube and twitch we want there to be a system where all of their videos still show up in your feed and you continue to watch them as if nothing ever happened. We want the content creators to feel like they own their identity, but more importantly, we want content creators to feel like they can have a direct connection to their audience to communicate. So essentially, if I can explain how this works, I haven't done a great job yet, but the let's say that I got banned off YouTube, but I was publishing my videos somewhere else. This app would allow me to plug that in so that all of my viewers could still see my videos. Now, it creates, it changes the landscape to where, uh, you know, content creators need to work harder to get their, um, their viewers to support them directly. But for example, my viewers do like people, maybe they don't watch my ads or buy any sponsored products, but they buy coffee from me, or maybe you try out sponsors or you try out. So at the end of the day, it's still a universal good um, that your viewers actually get to find your videos, right? Even if you get banned, right? Like if you had, for example, Alex Jones in here and you know you subscribe to him, wherever he's publishing his videos, you open the app, you see him just like they were on YouTube or anywhere else. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, this is, uh, this is definitely something I, I think is very smart. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I, I just, I really think that this was, you know, I know he's been working on this for a while. Oh, by the way, the software's completely open source. Um, you don't, you know, you don't have to pay for it. I think they, they ask for a couple bucks, but, um, you know, I would always say pay for it, but again, this is not an ad. And like I said, in fact, you know, I think it's more important that you can reach your viewers than the ad revenue you can make on them, especially once you're, you know, a larger creator, you've got to just get more creative on generating revenue. You sell 
you sell merch or you sell coffee or you do ad reads or whatever the case is, but at least they can actually still find your content. So I think that this is a really, really interesting app and takes away a lot of the power that YouTube has. Uh, it takes a lot of power away from Twitch banning people, things of that nature, because now your viewers can find you no matter what. So it'll be interesting to see if this actually takes off. I, I wish them, I absolutely wish them the best. Um, it's certainly an interesting time uh, to, to, <laughs> to, be, to be alive with all the censorship and stuff like that going on. So I'm here for it. Good for Lewis and uh, his company. And uh, I just wanted to give them some shine because I think that's, I'm, you know, I think that they're doing a really good thing here to help preserve content.